Hello, hello, hello and welcome, welcome to my little capsule. This video is a small part of my tutorial series called Interactive Architecture, where I'll be showing you how you can make all sorts of different things with Unreal Engine. Today we'll learn how you can use your keyboard keys to change cameras from third person to first person, just like so. Pretty neat, huh? So let's jump right into it. All right, so let's talk about changing the camera. How do you do that? And basically what's the best way of doing it? First of all, we need a button to be able to press. And once we press it, the camera changes. And the way you map the buttons is by going here to settings, to project settings, scrolling down until you see input, under engine input and here under uh, where, action mappings where is it am i blind yeah there we go action mappings under here you just press the little plus sign to add an additional action mapping then you expand this of course and you can call the action any way you want i will call it toggle perspective there we go that's done Toggle perspective. Then here uh, it asks you what's the key that you want to uh, map to this action. So I'll just click on this um, keyboard right here. And now whatever key I press on my keyboard is going to be registered. So I'll just press left shift, right? So that's done. We don't need to do anything else. Uh, you don't need to save this, by the way. You just close it. It remembers. So that's done. Now, once we have that action, we actually need like two cameras to switch between, right? The third person uh, camera and the first person camera. How do you do that? Well, first of all, we need to understand where the cameras are located. So here in my project browser, um, I have my content, third person, blueprints third person blueprint this is basically um a blueprint for my character for my character that i play once i press the play button like so so if i double click this third person character you will see that we have um, like a bunch of spaghetti here which is the event graph we also have the construction script tab and we have the viewport tab so my character consists of multiple different things and I already messed around the camera. So let me just quickly reset it to how it was before. Just one second. 400 and I believe that's a zero. And now we're, we're back to, to normal. So this is what you will most likely see. Um, the camera that we get is right here camera boom and follow camera camera boom is this red line that basically says that the camera is on this kind of spring that's tilting or not to tilting but rotating around the character and the camera itself is here you can change all of the measurements or the not measurements but settings of the camera if you just simply select it so for instance field of view right you can increase it um we need we need to create a first person cara, uh, camera right so we have the third person one we need another one a first person one so to do that i will just simply uh, click on add right here and i'll add a camera a camera right uh, is it a cinematic camera or uh, is it a regular camera? Uh, in this case, it should be a regular camera, right? Camera, and I'll just call it FPS. Uh, wait, first person FP camera. First person camera. There we go. So now this first person camera, well, first it's located in a weird way that's on the crotch. So that ain't gonna work. But second of all, it's not really responding to the to the movement of the character. Let me just try to get as close. You can see the head is actually moving around while the camera stays still. 
So we need it to respect the movement of the character. To do that, you take this camera and you drag it onto your mesh, onto your character, like that. Now it's a part of the character. If I take the character and I move it, the camera moves together with it. Don't do that, <laughs> don't do that. So with the camera selected here in the, on the left hand side, I will lock it to the head movement because right now it's just locked to the center of the, like the body mass. We don't want that, we want to lock it to the head. So here with the, again, camera selected, I will find the tab that's called sockets. And for the parent socket, I will search here for a bone that's called head. Head. Log that in. There we go. So now you'll see that the location of the camera messed up. That's normal. That's it should be messed up, right? But it is following the movement of the head right now. So to fix it, all we need to do is for the location we set it to zero. For the rotation, we set it to zero. Nope, we don't. So rotation actually is 90 around the Z axis. And that's going to be another 90 around the X axis. It's upside down. So it's minus 90. My apologies. Minus 90, zero, 90. Now we have the camera actually in place. Now if I compile this, save this, um, actually there is no easy way of how we can check the camera right now because simply because it's not going to be the active camera if we press play or maybe it is one second because i believe the active camera is the one that is at the top of the list and this like first person camera is higher than the follow camera so it might become our active camera no never mind <laughs> never mind okay let's go back let's make it our active camera so that happens in the event graph right here. So event graph is basically what happens once you begin play, uh, once you start the game, right? Uh, so there are multiple different uh, inputs and so on that are being handled. I will not go into them because this is a camera tutorial, right? So we focus on the camera. All right, so now in this event graph, we will create our action, you know, the shift key is pressed and the camera perspective changes from third person to first person. So first thing is to actually get the input, right? So something that triggers the change. We already have set it up, don't forget. So if I just right click and I toggle perspective, if I type in toggle perspective, you can see it here. That's our action that we have created. And this action has three outputs if it's pressed, if it's released, and what key was pressed, right? So if it's pressed, if I press the shift key, what should it do? Well, it should check if it, it should check if my third person camera is currently my active camera, right? So I need to get my follow camera in here. I just drag it over like that. And I will ask is active, is active. So I just drag away from it and then type in is active. I get this. This returns uh, either true or false, either it's active or not. And then basically from if I press the key, I will use a branch branch and I'll plug this in as true. So if my following camera, the third person camera is my active camera, then this will trigger. It's true. If my uh, following camera is not my active camera, meaning if I'm in my first person mode, this is going to trigger, which is false, right? So now let's say this is true. My follow camera is my active camera. Then I need my first person camera to become active. Oh, and it's needs to be there. Sorry. Uh, my first person camera to be active, right? So for the first, oh, and it even this jumped away. Sorry, head. One second. You don't need to change anything. It's just me. I messed up. <laughs> so 
how do you how do you change the cameras well the node that does that is called let's drag away from this it's called set active and we can set active either first person camera or the follow camera so i'm going to set active the first person camera right here and here you can see the tick mark where we can actually set it as our active camera like that and one thing that you should not forget to do is set the following camera as non-active so that you don't have two active objects so again i will um, drag off from here and i'll set active my follow camera and i'll leave this unticked meaning that it is not active okay great so this means that if i press shift and my third person camera is not the active one wait yes no if i press shift and my third person camera is true is the active one then it's going to change it to first person camera and it's going to disable the third person camera so now i'll select these copy and paste them down ctrl c ctrl v drag away from false and i'll just kind of think about it okay so if this is false that means i'm in first person mode which means first person camera needs to be not active while third person camera the follow camera needs to become active just like that so that's the logic one more thing that we need to fix is the controller yaw um, in third person you don't need it in first person you need to enable controller yaw so that you can look around the the, the z-axis properly so here uh, we're switching to first person so that this is where we actually are going to set it uh, use controller rotation yaw right here that's tick marked while here it should be unticked use controller rotation yaw unticked okay i will compile this or actually let's select all of this press the c button c as in candy cloud c button and comment uh, switch cameras just to keep it neat uh, neat and tidy okay we have this done we compile this we go back to the camera and one last thing that we need to do for the first person camera is enable uh enable pawn control where was it yeah there we go that 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 tick mark right there use pawn control rotation if you don't have it ticked tick it compile save open here press play okay this is third person shift first person third person first person if I move around in my first uh, with my first person camera actually that's not not that bad Whoa. it might be that uh, for you it might be much much worse let me just check if it's if it's working properly why is it off uh, one second like that like that 90 <sighs> Tutorials are hard, compile, save, play, shift. Ah, there we go. Okay. So now you can see me and the running around and so on. I, I just kind of lost the position of the camera. If you haven't done anything with it, you should be good to go. We, If I look down, I can see the inside of my body, which is not ideal. So I will fix that right now. You go to third person character, uh, you go to the viewport, select your camera. Uh, you don't really need to uh, change the, sorry, you don't need to use the, the arrow keys. All you need to do is just change the location here, the location value. Uh, that is the wrong one. So let's not use 10 here. Uh, I'll need to figure out which one is it. 10. Yeah, there we go. It's it's going to be the Y axis. 
15. Let's try something like that. Compile, save, play, shift. Yeah, that's that seems better. It's a little bit crooked for some reason. That is weird. Let's investigate. Ah, it's not crooked. It's just the way the the character stands. <laughs> you can see the shoulder right there. That, that's fine. That's fine. I will increase the field of view to 110 degrees so that it's a wider field of view for our first person camera. I think 110. Well, let's do 100 degrees actually. I'm scared of doing 110. That might become a little bit of a nuisance. And because of this, we will also need to move it f even further. So let's do five more centimeters, 20 or unreal units. It's actually centimeters. <laughs> uh, shift. Yeah, that seems good. Yep. And now we can take a look right around our little apartment and our phone. Moshi moshi. Yeah. So that's that we have successfully changed the camera. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.